This is for the Feast Men's Automatic watch that I just got in. It's got the blue face. It's the FM019 model. Packaging is very premium, um, especially for you know, automatic watch off of Amazon. I was pretty impressed. It's got this, I guess it's cardboard, but it's, um, it's got some sort of extra, like almost like wallpaper or something around it. Uh, kind of gives it a reflective metallic look. Really nice quality. Here's the little label on the front. I've already been wearing this for a couple weeks, but I just put it back in the box to show you how it came. Here's the watch. Really like you can see the sweeping motion of the second hand. It had this little paperwork with it. A little thank you card and let them know if you have any questions. The watch does come with a two year warranty. So it was sitting on this nice little pillow and then I took off some of this stuff that it had attached to it. Here's, this, here's a little instruction manual. Here's the instruction manual. It was had some plastic wrap to protect the screen and then attached to the links was this little card. And these are links I actually removed. Um, it had all of the links installed on it. Nice, just simple stainless steel. Um, they're easy, really easy to change. So it uses a little slotted screwdriver. I actually did not have one. And so I messaged them on Amazon, contacted the seller, and they were nice enough to send me a little slotted screwdriver um, for free that came, you know, two days later. So I was able to easily unscrew the little links that I needed to remove. I have a pretty small wrist at about seven inches. So you can see, I'm trying to get it to focus, the screws there. Watch is really nice quality. It's got a nice stainless steel band. Um, I like how it gets a little narrower as it comes near the clasp, uh, makes it look, you know, less bulky from the underside of your wrist. It's got a little, closes two ways. This snaps in the bottom piece first, and then this comes in over it and fits in to that groove. And then to, you can see there's two little spring-loaded latches on either side here, make it really easy to take on and off. So looking at the watch, I'm wearing it for a couple weeks. It's very accurate, it's not really lost much time at all, maybe, you know, two or three seconds. Um, wearing it on my wrist during the day, it stayed, you know, accurate, have not had any issue with the watch stopping on me, but it does have manual as well. You can manually wind the crown to give yourself some extra power. I really like the, you know, bezel of the watch. You can see there's this kind of two-toned blue grid, really makes it pop. The lines in the back are kind of more of a darker navy, and then it has this metallic look. It really, especially, I mean, I'm indoors right now, but when you're outside, it really does catch the sunlight, and it really, this blue dial really does pop. Uh, it's got the date, as you can see. Really like that sweeping second hand. Um, has a sapphire crystal, which is nice at this, you know, I would expect that at this price point of a little over $200, but I'm glad to have that because I kind of tend to bang out my wrist sometimes and it's nice to have sapphire so you can, you know, set a mineral or something to prevent scratches. It's got this nice octagon casing, so it's not, you know, not a traditional round, but it's also not square, so it really makes it unique and stand out. And you can see it's kind of a combination of, you know, looking from the front, it's this brushed stainless look. But then if you look at the side here, it's more of a polish. So it really makes it stand out. Um, quality control is excellent. It's got a nice weight to it. It is a 42 millimeter case, but it does not feel that big to me. Um, especially having a seven inch wrist, I don't feel that it's too big. 
very easy to set, um, like I said. And here looking at the back, it says three ATM water resistant. Um, it's got the model FM019. And you know, it's got your typical kind of clear backing. You can see the, can get this to focus. There's the mechanism moving right there. Really beautiful. I don't know the exact mechanism in this one, and I don't know a lot about mechanisms, but it you know, seems to keep pretty good time, and it's really neat to be able to see it on the back, and then you can see the, you know, the weight bar as I rotate the watch, kind of move around there, you know, as you wear it, it keeps itself wound. Um, it's really overall very happy with this purchase. Um, really, you know, seems to be on par, if not nicer than my Japanese automatic watches like Seiko and and those. Um, and I'll put it on real quick just to show you on a seven inch wrist how the watch looks, but I also put on, you know, I'm uploading some pictures to my review. You can even see the attention to detail, the little screws. I'm not sure if these actually hold down that front plate or if they're just cosmetic, but you can see there all the threads are, you know, facing the correct way so that it makes a circle around with the screws. So it really gives it a nice, cool look to this watch. Then, like I said, I like how the band kind of tapers a little thinner on the underside, you know, so that it's not as thick, but very easy to, to fit and to remove those links. And I'm very happy with this purchase.